So this is my storage thing that I use. It is from Ikea and it is called the Alex Drawer. I absolutely love this. I believe it was around $200. I will double check on that. It took me so long to put this together because as you know, pretty much everything from Ikea you have to put together yourself and it took me three hours, like the longest time to put it together, but it was so worth it. I absolutely love it. It's the best for storing makeup because the drawers on top are really shallow so that you could see the stuff that you put in the drawers very easily. So there are five shallow drawers and then four um, deep drawers. So it's really great and this is what I use to store all of my makeup. Up here on the top of my drawer, this is where I like to keep my brushes. I used to keep my brushes in an actual drawer but um, I really couldn't see the brushes that I was reaching for in the drawer and like everything was just on top of each other and it was just really hard. So I decided that I would get three vases. I got these at the dollar store. They were super, super cheap. They were pretty much a dollar each. And then I got these little beads which are called vase fillers and I also got that at the dollar store. They were also a dollar each. So all I did was I filled up the vases with the beads and I stuck all the brushes inside the vases. I pretty much just organized it that all these brushes are all my eye brushes, all these brushes are my face brushes, and the brushes that are back here are my face brushes as well. Back there, I like to keep my Lysol wipes. I'm a little bit of a germaphobe, so I like to keep them within reach. That way, when I do my makeup, I could just quickly clean down my desk area. And right in the back, this is where I keep my blow dryer, my straightener, and my brush, right back here. And that's pretty much everything that is on the top of my drawers. This is my first and most boring drawer in all of my drawers. This is the drawer where I keep most of my miscellaneous stuff, the stuff that I just really don't have any room to put elsewhere. So right over here is where I like to keep all my MAC lipsticks and as well as my YSL lipsticks. I like to keep my MAC lipsticks over here because since this part of this um, separator is quite thin, I'm able to flip my MAC lipsticks upside down, that way I could see the name of the actual lipstick. Because as you guys know, MAC lipsticks are very plain and they all look exactly the same, so I gotta have some way of identifying them. So that way, when I'm looking for a specific color, I could find it very easily. And then right over here, this is where I keep three of my YSL lipsticks. Right behind my MAC lipsticks, this is where I like to keep my Bite lip glosses. Now I have a lot of these, that is why they have their own little section right over here. I got them in a Sephora set for my birthday. So they just fit really nicely right back here and I could easily see like what colors what. And I also have my Rimmel Apocalypse lip lacquers because they are super long and they just fit nicely right in here. So this is my little lip section in my top drawer. Now right back here, this is where I like to keep my most used nail products. So when I do my nails at my desk, I can easily just open up my top drawer and just take out my top coats that I use pretty much every single time I do my nails and my nail oil. And I also have my two current favorite nail polishes right here for easy reach. Let me know by the way if you guys would like to see a nail polish collection because I've got a lot of nail polish and you may find that interesting. Right over here next to my nail stuff, this is where I keep my hydrating lip products. My two Lush lip scrubs. Behind that I have my two Smith's Rosebud Lip Salve in Rose and in Strawberry. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite lip balms. They are so hydrating and I use them pretty much every single night. I also have my Sugar Advanced Therapy um, lip balm and my Palmer's Cocoa Butter Swivel Stick. And right back here, I have a, oh, a mini Vaseline. Guys, do you see how adorable that is? Is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen? And I also keep my Beauty Blender, a mini Kabuki brush, and a double-ended Make It Forever brush back here as well, just because they don't fit like in my brush holder. So I just keep them here. On the side over here, in this little bucket, I keep my eyelash glue. I have two pairs of Tweezerman tweezers, and I have some nail clippers, and a lot of different type of um, sharpeners for my pencils. And then behind that, I have my MAC brush cleanser, two Amara eyelash curlers, I have some hair elastics, and, and a nail file right back there. So that is pretty much it for the first drawer. Not the most exciting drawer, but I promise it will soon get much more exciting. Let's move on to the second drawer. Right over here is probably one of my favorite drawers. This is my lip drawer. This is where I keep all of my lipsticks, my lip glosses, and my lip pencils. 
So over here, this is where I keep all of my lip glosses. They used to be organized into high-end and drugstore lip glosses. However, throughout the few weeks that I've had this organized, um, they sort of got a little mixed up. In the center right over here, this is where I like to keep all of my pencils. So this is where all of my lip pencils stay. And I also have three of these giant um, Smashbox lip liners and pencil lipstick sort of things. And I also have a cheek and lip stain that just stays in here as well. So that just sort of sits right in the center over here. And over here is my favorite part of the drawer, the lipsticks. Everything is lying down flat, so I'm really able to see all of my lipsticks and what I have that way when I'm looking for something, I could find it very easily. Right over here, I have my favorite lipsticks from the drugstore, the Maybelline Vivids. I pretty much have every single one, I believe. I absolutely love these. They're so good. I also have my Revlon Lip Butters. Also love these. The Marc Jacobs one, a Laura Mercier one. I have three Smashbox back here. I have a NARS one. This one is really pretty. It's like a golden shimmery one from NARS. It's called Viva Las Vegas. It's so pretty. I have two Dior ones right over here. I have a Lancome one, Revlon, and I have a YSL glossy stain over here. So that is it for my lip drawer. I absolutely love this drawer. I don't know. I love lip products, like, a lot, so I have a lot of pride in this drawer. Moving on to the third drawer. I like to call this drawer my eye drawer. All of my eye products, as well as my concealers, live in this drawer. This little bucket over here is where I like to store all of my eyeliners. I mostly have Urban Decay ones and then a lot, a lot of like little miscellaneous ones. I have a Pixie one over here which is absolutely gorgeous and I have my Anastasia brow pencil in here as well. This Stila one which is so pretty. Look how gorgeous this eyeliner is. Hello, look at that. Right next to my eyeliners, this is where I like to keep all of my bases and my paint pots. And then right on top of here, this is uh, my illuminators as well as a Benefit Speed Brow. This is a Smashbox Artificial Illuminator and an NYC Sparkle Eye Dust. I have a bunch of paint pots over here. I have a soft ochre. I have Bear Study from MAC. Two pigments, vanilla and this pink one. I'm not quite sure what the name of this one is. I have a bunch of Maybelline color tattoos, some L'Oreal Infallible Press Eyeshadow. I have some gel liners. I have a MAC one over here. I have a purple one and I have two from Maybelline, a black and purple one. I have some cream shadows from Makeup Forever as well. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that's in this little bucket over here. Right next to that, I have two things for my eyebrows. I have an Anastasia Brow Powder and I also have the Benefit Brow Zing Brow Powder as well. In this little thing, I have my eye primer, so I have two of my Urban Decay Primer Potions as well as the Makeup Forever HD primer and I also keep all of my Tarte Smolder Eyes um, eye pencils in here. So I like to keep more of my th thicker pencils in this thing. I also have my Benefit Eye Bright which is like a pinky eyeliner. I have like a Rimmel Scandal Eyes. I have a white one. I have a brown one. That's everything I keep in that one. This is where I keep all my concealers. I have some drugstore. I have some high-end. I have a good mix of concealers. L'Oreal True Match um, Pencil Concealer. Maybelline Brightening Concealer, which I absolutely love. I actually need to rebuy that. I have a Benefit Fake Up YSL Two Chiclats. I have two Rimmel Wake Me Ups because these are my favorite drugstore concealers. Bobbi Brown Corrector. Olay Concealer Corrector. Bare Minerals Concealer, which I also really, really like. I just, just, just got this Pro Longwear one and I have been obsessed with it. It is amazing and it is definitely one of my favorites. It's honestly holy grail status. This is incredible. Yeah, select cover up as well. Here I have a Makeup Forever concealer palette. Next to my concealer is where I like to keep my mascara. I don't have a lot of mascara because I'm not, honestly, not a huge mascara person. I really stick to the same two or three mascaras. This is my everyday mascara. This is my Kevin O'Quinn, the volume mascara. I absolutely love this. The reason being is because I could take it off only with water. So it makes taking off your makeup so, so, so fast and easy. And after a long day at school, the last thing I want to do is spend 15 minutes taking off my mascara. But when I go out, I like to make my lashes look nice and large and voluminous and long. So I like to use this mascara, which is my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, my all-time favorite mascara. I am obsessed with this. 
I also love the benefit they're real. I have a little sample size. I, a, a Givenchy one, Bad Gal Lash, Telescopic from L'Oreal, a Marc Jacobs sample, and a Hypno Star one as well. Those are all my mascaras, and I just keep that right over here. So that's that for the eye drawer. I like to call this drawer my face drawer because it contains all of my face products. So right over here is where I like to keep all of my Benefit box powders. I have um, my Rockator, my Hula, my Coralista, I have my Dallas, and I also have, I don't even know what this one is called. There's like no name on this one. It's the one with has the bronzer and the highlighter. I actually only got this because Juicy Star 07 used it in one of her tutorials, and I loved it. And next to that, this is where I like to keep my setting spray, so I have my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray as well as my Fix Plus, which I absolutely love. I use this stuff every single day. It is amazing. And I like to keep my Smashbox Primer here as well. So right over here, this is where I like to keep all my foundations and primers. So for example, I have my Clinique Redness Solution Primer. I have my Benefit Professionals Primer. This is incredible. Been using this nonstop this past month. Then I have all of my liquid foundations. I have MAC Face and Body, uh, Makeup Forever HD, Rimmel Wake Me Up, L'Oreal Lumi, and my all-time holy grail foundation, Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I love this. I also have a Bare Minerals Original uh, Powder Foundation, Bobbi Brown um, Tinted Moisturizer, a Smashbox BB Cream. I also have my Benefit Powder Flage, which they have discontinued, and I've just found out they discontinued this, and I'm so upset because I use this every single day to set my under eye concealer, and I want to cry that they've discontinued this. Next to that, this is where I keep all of my blushes and powders that have not been depotted. So right in the front, I have my NARS Pressed Powder, as well as my NARS Laguna Bronzer, which I love. As you can tell, it is, it is hip pan. I also have all, all of my blushes over here. Once again, that I have not depotted. I have a Too Faced Cream Blush. I have a Sonia Kashuk Blush. Maybelline Bouncy Blushes. I have a few Smashbox ones. This is the first blush I have ever bought. MAC Dainty. Fun fact of the day. And I have two of my favorite MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes, one in Light Scapade and one in Soft and Gentle, one of my all-time favorite highlighters. And then back here is where I keep all of my NARS blushes, some of my favorite blushes ever after MAC. This is one of my favorite ones. This is Torrid. I also love the Orgasm Blush, which is like everybody's favorite. It is this one over here. On the side over here are two of my Kevin O'Quinn powders. I have the um, sculpting powder in medium, which is the best contouring powder, and I also have the candlelight powder, which is a gorgeous highlighter. I believe it is also the highlighter that Kim Kardashian uses. So that is everything in my face drawer. Moving on to another one of my favorite drawers. This is my palette drawer. I absolutely love this drawer. Excuse my pajama bottoms, by the way, if you happen to have catched a glance. This is where I like to keep my three most used palettes. So I have both of my Naked palettes as well as my beloved MAC palette. This, I have lots of pride and joy in this palette. I absolutely love it. This is where I keep all of my MAC eyeshadows as well as all of my um, depotted blushes over here. I am like in love with this and I always take it out and reorganize my shadows and stuff. I just like love this thing so much. Right in the center I have like a Smashbox Trio Fit Palette thingy. I have a Bella Terra Mineralized Shadow in Navy. I got this in my Ipsy bag. I have two Urban Decay eyeshadows, single eyeshadows. And I also have the Stilla Kitten Eyeshadow. Over here on the left hand side is where I keep more of my more used palettes. So here is another MAC Quad, which has more of like my purpley shades in here. I also have another Urban Decay palette. I have my Sigma Creme de Couture um, palette that I actually just got. I'm thinking of doing an eye makeup look based around this palette. So let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see that. And I have my Still Up palette, which has all matte shades, which is great for every single day. Right in the corner over here is where I keep my least used eyeshadow palettes. Just the eyeshadow palettes I don't really get much use out of. Like this Dior palette has like the sketchiest shades. They're just like all pastel shades. I can never find any use for them. I also have um, three Smashbox palettes. This one I actually use a lot, but these two I don't really use very often. This one's actually very pretty. It has really, really, really nice shadows in here. I love Smashbox shadows. This Urban Decay one I hardly ever use. This is the first palette I ever got. 
Um, they're just all sparkly, bright colors in here, so I don't really get much use out of them. I also have a um, Wet n Wild palette and a Maybelline quad. And then right in the corner I have my old MAC palette that just has three leftover eyeshadows that I just keep in here because I have nowhere else to put them. I still just bring this out once in a while whenever I need those shades though. Right in the corner over here, this is where I keep my huge Too Faced palette. I also have my Smashbox palette, which has a lot of pretty neutral colors. And this is my favorite bright palette, the Pretty Rebel Too Faced palette. And that stays right over there. So that is it for my palette drawer. Moving on to a less exciting drawer. This is the drawer where I keep all the stuff I use to do my voiceovers. So this is my blue microphone. I feel super professional whenever I take this out and use it, especially when I use it with my headphones, which I normally do. These are Bose headphones that I love. I also just keep my curling wand in here because I don't really have anywhere else to put it, so it just stays in here. This is the drawer where I like to keep all of my hair products. I'm so happy that I finally have a drawer that contains all of my hair products because they used to just be scattered prob literally all over my room and all over my bathroom. So I'm so happy that they're finally all in one place. I have a bunch of serums back here, like bedhead control free, EG curl cream because my hair is naturally curly, a Moroccan oil hydrating cream, my holy grail product, I have a hairspray, a Palmer's cocoa butter. Um, ha hand cream in here for some reason. I have some dry shampoo over here. It's just a drawer full of random hair stuff. So that's that for that. And in here, this is where I like to keep all of my extra Bath and Body Works candles. So all the candles that I'm currently not using, I just store in here. So it's a really good storage area for all of this stuff. And everything pretty much fit perfectly in here. And in the final drawer, I have my extra hair stuff. So I have just a bunch of scrunchies over here. I have a hairbrush. I have extra barrels for my curling wand and some headbands back there. And some wires that I'm not really using and just random stuff that I just don't have any other place for.